If you were born on April 1st, that's hilarious. Congratulations, you've lived your life as a joke. My name is Brianna Elizabeth Campbell and I was born on April 1st, 1994. I will never forget when I was like seven or eight, I was in a food court somewhere in Ohio. And I don't remember what happened or what, like, what created this outburst of song. But someone was like, you need to get up and sing the national anthem. And I was like, what? They were like, do it. And so I got up and I did it. And like, I just remember this food court like erupting and, and like applause. And I was like, oh, cool. So I guess I like singing now. As soon as I decided I wanted to pursue music, I was able to do that with the support of my parents. Over time, I decided to start teaching private music. Now, a year later, I have a full roster of 25 students. I teach full time. I go um, from house to house and uh, I teach either piano, guitar, or voice. You know, and everyone's different. It's, it's, I'm really lucky because some parents, are, it's just very professional and very cordial, and some are like, oh my gosh, how was your week? This is what happened to me this week at work. Can you believe it? Tell me about your week. Did any kids say anything ridiculous this week? And you're like, yeah, let me tell you. <laughs> it gives me a well-rounded perspective of the different kinds of life that I can choose. You know, because you see different marriages and you see different homes and you see single mothers and single fathers and I just don't feel like I'm running into life blindly. Like I can, I see how people end up when where they've been, you know, and really the, the best part is, is just seeing the kids and how exciting they, like they're always excited and knowing that no matter what, uh, what position it ends up in or dynamic that like, it's all going to be okay. I recently went through a really big injustice in my life and walking through that has been hard. Forgiveness to somebody who's done something so wrong to you can't imagine is a lot harder than I thought it would be. But just knowing that I didn't pick that, I mean, I picked that person for that time being. I didn't pick their actions though. And I'm trying, what I'm trying to do, because I do have a very sunny disposition and I'm trying to like be okay with the weight of my negative emotions. They're not negative emotions, they're totally natural about what I've gone through, but uh, I'm waking up and I feel depressed and I just want to eat a donut and six hot dogs and like, you know, and just say, that's okay. I'll have one donut and one hot dog. It's letting yourself know that it's totally okay to be going through this and that this might be a low moment, but the cool part is, is that maybe six months from now, a year from now, or maybe when I'm old and can hardly recall what happened to me, I'll meet somebody who is going through the same thing and I'm going to be like, I'm 80. I've lived a great life after that happened. <laughs> you know, you're not gonna, you're gonna be fine. Happy birthday to everybody who was born on April Fool's Day. Thank you for watching. We're uploading an episode every single day featuring a different person. Please like, share, and subscribe. We really appreciate your support.